coming to you from the University of Johannesburg. Hello and welcome. Earlier this year, we brought you the story of Lucas Sitole. He is South Africa's number one ranked wheelchair tennis player and has represented his country at various international tournaments. But behind his remarkable achievements, there's a story of a young man who had to overcome a great deal of adversity to reach success. This documentary went on to scoop an international award in London. I'm very honored to announce the winner of the Sportsman of the Year with Disability, Lucas Tolle. Ranked number one in South Africa and ninth in the world. Lucas Sitole has reached groundbreaking heights in his short tennis career. I'm attacking the world of champions, which is uh, not far from my hand. I just need to grab it with my both hands. But it hasn't been success all the way for this KwaZulu Natal born athlete. In 1998, when he was just 12 years old, he went through a life-changing tragedy. Lucas and a friend were asked to help a man load goods on a small freight train. It was a decision that would almost rob him of his precious life. He asked us to, to change the railway line so that he, the train can turn, you know, change direction. So we jumped down, we pulled that thing. On our way back, my friend jumped first in the train. Then as I was following, so then I slipped uh, over the train like this, and then I was under the train. Trapped under the train, Lucas's little body was torn to pieces, leaving him with just his left arm intact. Couldn't move. I tried to feel my legs. There was nothing. My right arm, there was nothing. A month in hospital, and then Lucas was discharged, with his relatives supporting him through his depression. Yes, it was hard for me to believe those words that everything was going to be fine. At a certain stages, I thought that that just comforting me, just, you know. Because I, when they see me sitting alone, they think that I remember I was trying maybe to, to, to commit a suicide or something like that. When friends and neighbors began distancing themselves from Lucas, his mother decided to send him to a special needs school. A decision that quickly helped turn his depression around. Yeah, that's way everything, everything started to change. You know, the way I used to do things, the way I used to think, the way I used to talk, that's why it changes because I realized that, that I was not the only one who was on a wheelchair. I was not having legs in arm. Realizing he had a second chance, Lucas turned to sport and joined the school tennis team. And after years of practice, he found his real passion. Uh, tennis is my life now. I've chosen this way, so I'm going to live with it for my whole life. Uh, tennis has showed me many things. Mm, like many people meeting some good people in the world, traveling a lot. After I started to play tennis in 2005, I had my first uh, international tournament in uh, Holland. So that's where I fell in love with the sport. That's where I saw myself inside potential, you know, like that I, I can play this sport. I am good in this sport. The thing with Lucas is you got to be a bit more creative in the way you you, you go about uh, coaching him, uh, obviously with the one hand, uh, you just got to be creative in, in, in formulating his strokes and in his balance in the chair. 
Uh, but everything else is pretty much the same as any other player. I really see these players as athletes, not as disabled people, and I think that says a lot. Lucas is a fully professional athlete, he practices every day. I don't have to come here to get him to practice, he does that all by himself. He, he pushes me to, to get his, the best out of himself, and I think that's obviously a great uh, attribute to himself. Now off to Korea and Japan for the last round of qualifying matches where Lucas aims to enhance his chances to be part of the Paralympics in London. But with his current position on the global stage, Lucas is almost guaranteed a place in the South African Olympic team. Uh, representing my country is, is my biggest goal that I always wanted to do. You know, because when I'm out there, I'm not representing myself only, whilst I'm representing the people who live in South Africa. I, I will do whatever it takes to be in one of the podiums there and sing my national anthem. We dream, we, we wish, we do all those things, but it's up to us. If we continue sleep, continue dreaming, or you wake up and follow your dream. It's, it's, it's something that that also push me, you know, like to do more, like to do more, like to show other people who, who think they are disabled, whereas they are not. If you have a mind and an eyes, you can see, you can do, and hands. You know, it, 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 it makes me hungry, like it, it gives me that hunger, like to, to do more. Well, for Lucas Sitole, it's only the beginning. He continues to travel the world to improve his position in wheelchair tennis at international level. Coming up, the nation's number one finally makes it to London. And then, six months after we brought you Lucas Sitole's documentary, it scoops an international award.